Hey, how's everyone doing today? You're cracking packs with Lumpy, and today we have bow, 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 the Guilds of Ravnica. Yeah, man, it's finally out. It's about one o'clock in the morning on September 29th, 2018, and I just got back from my local game store. They went on sale at midnight. So I ran up there and grabbed the box, and I am going to bust into it for y'all. And it came with the buy a box promo, the Impervious Great Worm. Uh, it has Convoke. Your creatures help cast a spell. Each creature you tap while casting this spell pays for one mana, that creature's color. It is a 16-16 for 10, and it's indestructible. And it's a foil. <laughs> A 16-16, man. That would be awesome in some green decks. If you could put some uh, trample, put trample on that sucker. Oh, man. Forget it. You own the game. Hopefully, we got another one or two of these inside the box, man. That would be awesome. Uh, anyway, yeah, that sucker's going to go in a green deck of mine. All right. Anyway, we'll get to it. Here we go. Guilds of Ravnica, baby. Cracking it open. Here we go. First look. First open. Oh, bam. Look at that. Well, not first look. I'm sure there's been uh, the spoilers and the websites that posted everything about these come on get in there all right there we go finally you can get a couple thumbnails on that bam Alright, we're going to bust into these suckers and see what we got. Like I said, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. I just got back from my local game store. And we're going to start cracking packs. Yeah, man. All right. What have we got? Sure Strike. Collar the Culprit. Dazzling Lights. Never happened. Yep, it never happened. I'm going to give that card to my girlfriend. I don't know what you're talking about. It never happened. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Crushing Canopy, Erstwhile Trooper, Maniacal Rage, Hired Poisoner, Blade Instructor, Sonic Assault, and our Uncommons, Demotion, you got busted down, you now a private, you got demoted, yeah, yeah. for one, Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature can't block, and it's activity... Activated abilities can't be activated. Yeah, man. Invert and invent. Uh, invert is switch the power and toughness of each of up to two target creatures. And invent, search your library for an instant card and or sorcery card. Reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. That's pretty cool. All right. The Wand of Vertebrae. That's somebody's spine. It's the spine wand. It costs one. Tap it. Put the top card of your library into your graveyard. For two, exile a wand of vertebrae. Shuffle up to five target cards from your graveyard into your library. That's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Oh, our rare steam vents. Uh, as steam vents enters the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. That's that's a cool little uh, thing they got going on there. 
if you really need mana, you can get it out right away for pay by paying two life. And uh, if not, it just comes in tapped. I'm digging it. I like it. And Selesnia Guildgate. Yeah, man. And an Elf Knight. All right. That's the first pack. I'm not going to go over all the commons and everything uh, on every pack. So... We're just going to skip right... I just wanted to, you know, read some of them to y'all. But we're just going to skip right to the uncommons. So, that's the way it's going to be from here on out. Demotion again. Conclave Cavalier. A 4-4 four, four for 4 with Vigilance. When Conclave Cavalier dies, create two 2-2 two, two green and white elf knight creature tokens with Vigilance. That's that's pretty awesome, actually. I like that. Uh, Silent Dart, for one. You pay four and tap it, Silent Dart. Sacrifice Silent Dart. It deals three damage to target creature. I really hope it's not one of those non-reading days. Omnispell Adept, for five. It's a three-four. You may cast an instant or sorcery card from your hand without paying its mana cost. Omnispell Adept. Um, a Selesnia Guildgate again, and Bird Illusion. All right. Night Vale Predator, a vampire, 3-3 three, three for 4, with flying and death touch. Yeah, man, I'm digging that. I know somebody's going to want that in their deck. And Hexproof. A pilfering imp, the pilfering bastard. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one for 1 with flying. Pay two and tap it. Sacrifice Pilfering Imp. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it, and that player discards that card. Activate this ability anytime you could cast a sorcery. That's actually pretty good, man. I'm digging it. Disinformation Campaign for three. When Disinformation Campaign enters a battlefield, you draw a card, and each opponent discards a card. When you surveil, return disinformation campaign to its owner's hand. Yeah, man. And a defeating Clarion for three. Choose one or both. Defeating Clarion deals three damage to each creature. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. I really like that. Wow. Defeating Clarion. Uh, yeah. Anybody know what these things are worth? Let me know down in the comments. Um... They're all new to me. Ooh! Maximize Velocity. That looks like a goblin. For one, target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains haste until end of turn. Uh, Jumpstart. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs, and then exile this card. Wow. Uh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm assuming you get one turn with it, then exile it. Yeah, awesome. Or, when it dies, you exile it. Yeah, we'll say that. Anyway. Golgari Guildgate. And an Elf Knight. Yeah, I know. This is a brand new set. I'm going to be spending way too much time on it like I always do. Is that a slice to open it? I think it is. Anyway, we're just going to keep opening them the you know, good old-fashioned way. Gateway Plaza. Alright, Uncommons. Invert and Invent. I think we just went over that. Guild Summit. For three, an enchantment. When Guild Summit enters the battlefield, you may tap an, any number of untapped gates you control. Draw a card for each gate tapped this way. 
Whenever a gate enters a battlefield under your control, draw a card. That'll work. That's pretty cool. Getting cards is always good. An Elf Shaman. Glow Spore Shaman. For two, a 3-1 for two. When Glow Spore Shaman enters a battlefield, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. You may put a land card from your graveyard on top of your library. That's pretty cool if you need lands. Yeah, man. Ooh, Niv Mazet Paran. Niv Mazet the Paran. Uh, for six. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but he is our Dragon Wizard, a 5-5 five, five for six. This spell can't be countered. He has flying. Whenever you draw a card, Niv Mazet Paran deals one damage to any target. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery, you draw a card. Yeah, man. Niv Mazet, baby. A Demir Guild Gate and another Elf Knight. I think that's all we got for tokens so far. They're all Elf Knights. Yeah, man. There she is, Vraska. Maybe she got something good for us. Join Shields. For five, untap. All creatures you control, they gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Yeah, man. <laughs> that, that's a good card, man. Hexproof and indestructible. Bam. Conclave Tribunal. An enchantment for four. Convoke. When Conclave Tribunal enters a battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until Conclave Tribunal leaves the battle battlefield. Yeah, man. Discovery and Dispersal. Discovery, surveil two, then draw a card to surveil two. Look at the top two cards of your library and put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest on top of your library in any order. Uh, that costs two. For five, Dispersal is an instant. Each opponent returns a non-land permanent they control with the highest converted mana cost among permanents they control to its owner's hand, then discard a card. Wow. Yeah, man. And our rare venerated Loxodon, an elephant cleric, a 4-4 four, four for 5. It has Convoke, and when venerated Loxodon enters a battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature that convoked it. Wow. <laughs> that could be good, man. So you could tap five creatures, bam, and get five one ones. Get a one one put on each of them. That is pretty awesome. Well, I guess you can tap four creatures and pay one. You have to pay one because it's only colorless that it works for. Anyway, it's a four four. Golgari Guildgate and a soldier. Wow, we got a different token this time. All right, all right. I know I'm wasting too much time. I love these new sets. I just I can't get enough of them. And I'm figuring, you know, I'm thinking as I'm going through these, what cards I'm going to use. And Selesnia Locket, what's that? An artifact. Cost three, you can tap it for mana or pay four, sacrifice it and draw two cards. Pretty cool. All right. Integrity and Intervention. Integrity costs one. Target creatures get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Intervention cost four. Intervention deals three damage to any target, and you gain three life. That's pretty cool, man. Not expensive and a good card. Yeah, man. All right. The Price of Fame. Wow. The Price of Fame. It's very expensive. Uh, cost four. This spell costs two less to cast if target is a legendary creature. Destroy, destroy target creature. So it only costs two. If you're targeting a legendary, you can destroy a legendary for two. And surveil two. Look at the top two cards of your library and put any number of them into your graveyard. The rest on top of your library. Goblin Banneret. Costs one. A 1-1 one, one for a one. It has Mentor. When this creature attacks, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. 
Pay two. Goblin Bannerette gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Yeah, man. And our rare. Drowned Secrets. Uh, cost two. An enchantment. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. A Demir Guildgate and an Angel. Check out that Angel. Bing, bing, bing. That is a beautiful token, man. I don't know why I said bing, bing, bing. It's only a 4-4 four, four token. You know, it's flying in vigilance. Anyway, I don't know. It's just a cool card, I guess. But there you have it. Um, all right. Let's see what she's got for us. The Elfie chick. Beacon Bolt. For three, Beacon Bolt deals damage to target creature equal to the total number of instant sorcery cards you own in exile and in your graveyard. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Book Devourer. Don't let this guy in the library. Cost six. A four, five for six with Trample. When Book Devourer deals combat damage to a player, you may discard all the cards in your hand. If you do, draw that many cards. Ah, that's cool. You get a new hand. Well, as many cards as you have in hand. Enchanted Surveillance. For two, you may look at an additional two cards each time you surveil. Exile Enchanted Surveillance. Shuffle your graveyard into your library. Yeah, man. Ha, ah, yeah, man. I could have used that card several times. Awesome. Shuffle your graveyard into your library. Only cost two. Bam. Okay, well, exile. Oh! Mythic, mythic. Ding, 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 ding. Under Realm Lich. A zombie elf shaman. A four, three for five. If you would draw a card, instead look at the top three cards of your library, then put one in your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Pay four life and Under Realm Lich gains indestructible until end of turn. Then tap it. Yeah, man. Under Realm Lich. First Mythic of the Box. A 4 3 for 5. And Selesnia Guildgate and a Bird Illusion. I'm going to put those off to the side. All right. Oh, what am I doing? I'm reaching in the box. All right. True Fire Captain. A 4-3 four, for 4 with Mentor. And whenever a True Fire Captain is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target player. Haha, <laughs> yeah, man. That is cool. Deals any damage, he hits the player too. Hazda Marshall. Hazda Marshall, a 1-1 one, one for 1. When Hazda Marshall and at least two other creatures attack, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink. Yeah, man. Lotlith Giant, a zombie giant, 6-5 for 7. Undergrowth, when Lotlith Giant enters the battlefield, it deals 1 damage to target opponent for each creature card in your graveyard. Bam! So, yeah, you can kill a bunch of my stuff. Whip this out. Bam, I'll deal that much damage to you. Haha, <laughs> I like it. And Legion War Boss. For three, you get a 2 2 for three, a Goblin Soldier. I'm glad they're bringing back some goblins, man. Um, there's been a couple here and there, but not a whole lot. Anyway, it's got Mentor. And at the beginning of combat. On your turn, create a 1-1 one, one Red Goblin Creature token. That token gains haste until end of turn and attacks this combat if able. Yeah, man. A Demir Guildgate and a Goblin token. Check out the new Goblin tokens. 1-1 one, one Goblin. That's pretty cool. He's a badass warrior Goblin. Dumb as a rock, but cool. <laughs> All right. Next, we got that Ral guy, that uh, social justice warrior guy. Anyway, I'm not happy with the direction the art has gone on these things. All the guys look like girls, and all the girls look like, 
I don't know what they look like, but they don't look like women. Anyway, Gateway Plaza, another gate land. Sacrifice unless you pay one, tap it for mana of any color. Yeah, man. Dead weight, here we go. Might of the Masses. For one, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each creature you control. Yep, that's why it's Might of the Masses. Every creature you control gives it plus one, plus one. Pretty awesome. For three, Rock Charger. Uh, it's a one, three with flying. Whenever Rock Charger attacks, target attacking creature without flying gains flying until end of turn. Yeah, man, that could save your life. Grid for battle. For one, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of up to two target creatures. Not bad. And... Etrata the Silencer. For four, a legendary creature. Vampire Assassin. A 3-5 for four. Etrata the Silencer can't be blocked. Whenever Etrata deals damage to a player, exile target creature that player controls. And put a hit counter on that card. That player loses the game if they own three or more exiled cards with hit counters on them. Etrata's owner shovels Etrata into their library. Wow. So basically, somebody could lose the game if you use this card three times. If it deals combat damage, they have to exile something and put it... Wow, you exile three cards and you win the game. That, or, well, if you're just playing two-player. Yeah, I could see that being awesome in a commander deck as well. Anyway, a try to the silencer. What's that worth? Uh, don't know. I got the website open over here and all I can see is the top couple expensive cards. Anyway... Ooh, risk factor. A rare foil for three. Target opponent may have risk factor deal four damage to them. If that player doesn't, you draw three cards. And it has jump start. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. Then exile this card. Wow. Foil rare. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, man. Selesnia Guildgate and an Elf Knight. I really apologize for taking so long, but like I said, this is all brand new, and y'all know how I get all goofy and shit with the, the cool cards and the new stuff and the awesomeness and the... Yeah, whatever. Um, Goblin Crater Maker. A 2-2 two, two for 2. Another Goblin Warrior. Yeah, man. For 1, sacrifice Goblin Crater Maker and choose 1. Got a goblin Crater Maker deals 2 damage to target creature or destroy target non-land permanent. Uh, yeah, man. Destroy a permanent for 2 and then pay in 1. Yeah, man. I'm digging it. Uh, Mulder Hulk. For 9, you get a 6-6 six, six with Undergrowth. This spell costs 1 less to cast for each creature in your graveyard. When Mulder Hulk enters the battlefield, return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah, man. Thoughtbound Phantasm. A 2-2 two, two for 1 with Defender. When you surveil, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Thoughtbound Phantasm. As long as Thoughtbound Phantasm has three or more counters on it, it can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Yeah, man, I can see some uses for that. In a blue deck, at least. And our rare, Assure and Assemble. Uh, Assure costs two. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. That creature gains Indestructible until end of turn. Yeah, man. And Assemble. For six, create three, two, two, green and white elf knight creature tokens with vigilance. Yeah, man. Very cool card. A Selesnia Guildgate and an elf knight. Wow. We're at 22 minutes or something, and I only got 12 packs. I'm going to start moving it along a little bit here. I can't be doing this. Is it? Lock it. 
Yeah, see, as soon as I say that, direct current deals two damage to any target. <coughs> um, all right, Conclave Cavalier, we already had that. Circuitous Root. And I'm sure I didn't say that right, but it costs four. Search your library for up to two basic land cards and or gate cards. Put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. A Demir Spybug costs two for a 1-1. One, one. It has flying and menace. And when you surveil, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Demir Spybug. And Blood Operative is our rare. A 3-1 three, for three with lifelink. When Blood Operative enters a battlefield, you may exile target card from a graveyard. When you surveil, blood operative is. When you surveil, if blood operative is in your graveyard, you may pay three life. If you do return blood operative to your hand, that's pretty awesome. I'm digging it. Yeah, man. Oh, another foil. Severed strands for two as an additional cost to cast this spell. Sacrifice creature. You gain life equal to the sacrifice creature's toughness. Destroy target creature and opponent controls. Oh, so it's a double whammy. You sacrifice a creature, you gain life, and you destroy an opponent's card. Yeah, man. A creature. Is it Guildgate and a Bird Illusion? All right. A Siege Worm, 5-5 five, five for 7. But it's a rare, uh, common. There we go. Boros Challenger. 2-3 uh, two, for 2. Crawl Harpooner. A 3-2 for 2 with Reach. Ocran Assassin. For 3, a 1-1 one, one with Death Touch. All creatures able to block Ocran Assassin do so. Oh, crap. So they all have to block, and they all get death touched. Well, if you boost him up a little bit, it's only a 1-1, one, one, so. And, ooh, Divine Visitation. Ding, 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 ding. Another Mythic for five. If one or more creature tokens would be created under your control, that many 4-4 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance are created instead. O-M-G. That is going to be awesome in some decks, man. In some uh, token creators. Oh, my lord. Yeah. For five, instead of creating 1-1 one, one goblins or 1-1 one, one insects, you can create 4-4 four, four angels. OMG. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm digging it. Very good card. That's got to be worth something. Um. World Soul Colossus, an uncommon. Uh, for X and 2, it's a 0 0 with Convoke. World Soul Colossus enters the battlefield with X11 counters on it. So, whatever mana you got, you pay 2 plus that, and you got a badass card right there. Yeah, man. I'm digging it. A Golgari Guildgate and an Emblem of Varaska. I'm going to put this up here because I really hope we got at least the Varaska Planeswalker in there. <coughs> Alright. Next 12. I'm not even going to read the Uncommons now. I'm just going to go. I'll flip through them. I'll read the names. I'm not going to read the whole. Yeah, I know I'm taking way too much time. Way too much. But here we go. Lava Coil, Discover and Dispersal, City Watch Sphinx, a 5-4 for 6 with Flying, and Vivid Revival, for 5, return up to 3 target multicolored cards from your graveyard to your hand, then exile Vivid Revival. Wow. Yeah, man. Pulling stuff out of the graveyard is always good. Excellent card. Selesnia Guildgate and a Bird Illusion.
Undercity Necrolisk. A 3-3 three, three for 4. Boros Challenger. 2-3 two, for 2. Inescapable Blaze. For 6, it deals 6 damage to any target and can't be countered. Yeah, man. And Thief of Sanity. I feel like that sucker already hit me. Stole my sanity long ago. A 2-2 two, two for 3 with flying. When Thief of Sanity deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of that player's library. Exile one of them face down. Put the rest into their graveyard for as long as that card remains exiled. You may look at it, you may cast it, and you may spend mana as though it were any color or type. You may spend mana as though it was any type to cast that spell. Um, yeah, man. 2-2 two, two for 3. Demir Guildgate and a Soldier Token. An instant prevent all combat damage. All right. Glaive of the Guild Pack for two. Equip creature gets one O. Oh. Equip for, for three. Flight of Equinots for eight. You get a four five with Convoke and Flying. Sprouting Renewal for three. Got Convoke, choose one, create a 2-2 two, two. Elf Knight Creature Token with Vigilance or Destroy Target Artifact or Enchantment. Yeah, man. And our rare, Response and Resurgence. Uh, response costs two. Response deals five damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Resurgence, it costs five. And creatures you control gain first strike, Vigilance, until end of turn. After this main phase, there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. Yeah, man. I love those extra turn cards. When you play them, you pretty much got the game. Yeah, man. Boros Guildgate and a Soldier Token. Let's see what Big Red's got for us. Golgari Raiders. Beam Splitter Mage. 2-2 two, two for 2. City Watch Sphinx. 5-4 for 6. And a Pelt Collector. 1-1 uh, one, one for 1. Whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, if that creature's power is greater than Pelt Collector's, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Pelt Collector. As long as Pelt Collector has 3 or more 1-1 one, one counters on it, it has Trample. That's a good It only costs 1. And you could boost that sucker up real quick. Wow. Anything that has greater power gives it a 1-1. One, one. I like it. Selesnia Guildgate and a Soldier. Alright. That Pelt Collector's going in a deck. I could tell you that. Gonna be collecting. Get up there, you stinking Soldier Token. Keep falling down. Collar the culprit. All right, uncommons. Flower and flourish. Thought erasure. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-line card from it. That player discards that card and surveil one. Yeah, man, for two. Oh, I see foil back there. The wand of vertebrae. Guild Magis Forum, a land, that is our rare, add colorless, or for one and tap it, add one mana of any color, if that mana is spent on multicolored creature spells, that creature enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on it, yeah man, that is awesome, I love it when lands do extra stuff for you, it's just like, free effects, free, I mean, it, it's a land, anyway, awesome, awesome, awesome. And another uncommon th Thoughtbound Phantasm. 2-2 uh, two, two for one. We just went over that, but this is the foil. Yeah, man. Golgari Guildgate and an Elf Knight.
Affectionate Indrick. A 4-4 four, four for 6. Swarm Guild Mage. 2-2 two, two for 2. Conclave Guild Mage. 2-2 two, two for 2. And... Tajik Legion's Edge. Tack. Take. I'm going to say Tayek. The J is silent. Legion's Edge. For 3, you get a 3-2. Legendary creature, human soldier with haste and mentor. Prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. Wow. <laughs> that is a good card to have out. All non-combat damage. So anything anybody wants to throw at you, bam, blocked. And for one, or for two, uh, Tajik Legion's Edge gains first strike until end of turn. Yeah, man. That's a good card right there. Is it Guildgate and an Elf Knight? Crackling Drake. Blank four for four. Crackling Drake's power is equal to the total number of instant sorcery cards you own in exile and in your graveyard. That's pretty cool. That's got to be in a sorcery or instant deck. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Legion Guild Madge. 2-2 two, two for 2. Sinister Sabotage. And Legion uh, Light of the Legion. A 5-5 five, five for 6. An angel with flying and mentor. When Light of the Legion dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each white creature you control. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah, man. On each white creature. Demir Guildgate and an Elf Knight. Crackling Drake again. Gatekeeper Gargoyle, 3-3 three, three for 6. Golgari Fine Broker, a 3-4 four for 4. When he enters the battlefield, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. And Chamber Century for X. Chamber Century enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. For X and tap it, remove X-1-1 one, one counters from Chamber Centuries. It deals X damage to any target. Yeah, man. For five, one of each color, return Chamber Century from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a good card right there. Anybody know if it's worth anything? Couple bucks. Let me know down in the comments. Ooh, Sky Knight Legionnaire. For three, you get a 2-2 two -two with flying and haste. Yeah, man. And foil. Boros Guildgate and an insect creature token. Chemister's Insight, World Soul Colossus, an inspiring unicorn. Wouldn't all unicorns be inspiring, or is it just this one? Anyway, 2-2 two, two for 4, when inspiring unicorn attacks, creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. Yeah, man, gotta love it. And Overgrown Tomb. As Overgrown Tomb enters the battlefield, pay 2 life. If you don't, it comes in tapped. And it's a rare land. Yeah, man, a swamp forest. And an Il is it Guildgate. And a bird illusion. Yeah, man. A swamp forest. So if it's specifically, if you get a card that says for how many swamps or how many forests you control, I believe that would count because it is a swamp forest. So it can be counted as either, but it will count for your other abilities. Glaive of the Guild Pack, we just had that. House Guild Mage, 2-2 two, two for 2. Creeping Chill, 
for four. It deals three damage to each opponent. You gain three life. When it's put into your graveyard from your library, you may exile it. If you do, Creeping Shield deals three damage to each opponent. You gain three life. Wow. Yeah, so if somebody makes you discard your cards, bam, from your library into your graveyard. Necromoeba. It's an amoeba that's necrobial. <laughs> anyway, Necromoeba. 1-1 uh, one, one for 2 with flying. When Necromoeba is put into your graveyard from your library, you may put it on the battlefield. What? So it just never dies. A 1-1 one, one with flying costs 2. When it's put in your graveyard, oh, from your library, not from the battlefield. So, yeah, if somebody makes you discard. Anyway, Golgari Guildgate and another insect token. Murmuring Mystic. 1-5 for 4. Pilfering Imp, 1-1 one, one for 1. Disinformation Campaign for 3. Yeah, seems like that's what the world is doing today. Everything is disinformation. And Ionize for 3. Counter Target Spell, Ionize deals 2 damage to that spell's controller. Yeah, man. I'm digging it. Only cost 3 to counter a spell and deal 2 damage. Yeah, man. All right, Gilgari Guildgate and an Elf Knight. Stop the disinformation. I don't know, I really hope we get some uh, chutzpah in this box. Necrotic Wound. Justice Strike for two. Target creature deals damage to... To itself equal to its power. Hmm. Goblin Banneret and a watery grave. A rare island swamp. Yeah, man. Is it gold gate guild gate and a goblin token? An island swamp. And our last 12 packs. Be sure to like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Share this video with a couple people so we get the word out there. Don't forget to give it, get into my giveaways. I got a whole lot of giveaways going on. I will put the uh, link to the giveaways at the end of this video in one of those little boxes. Why does this pack just got destroyed, man? That's got to have something good in it. That's my prediction. Look at that. It just shredded. Anyway... <clears throat> All right, Night Vale Predator, Undercity Necrolisk, a three three for four, C Crush Contraband for four. Choose one or both. Exile target artifact. Exile target enchantment. Yeah, man, and. Bounty of Might for six. Green. Well, four and two green. Target creature gets plus three, plus three till end of turn. Target creature gets plus three, plus three till end of turn. Target creature gets plus three, plus three till end of turn. So you can, I'm sure, it should say uh, up to three target creatures get plus three, plus three till end of turn. But you can give them all to one or you can give them all to... You know, nine to one, one creature, or anyway, you get the idea. Boros Guildgate and a soldier token. Anybody know if that's worth anything? Bounty of Might. All right, moving on, moving on. I hope we got a Veraska in here. Another one shredded. Wow, they little sealing machine must have screwed up. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. Generous Stray. A 1-2 for 3. 
enters the battlefield, draw a card. Yeah, that's not that great. Anyway, I wasted time on that. Um, where is it? Here we go. A crawl, crawl, crawl harpooner. A 3 2 for 2. An insect warrior. Grid for battle. Put a 1 1 counter on up to two target creatures for one. Thoughtbound Phantasm. And Dawn of Hope. For two, you may gain life. Whenever you gain life, pay two if you do draw a card. For four, exile a 1 1. Oh my god. For four, create a 1 1 white soldier creature token with lifelink. I don't even know where I got exile from. Anyway, that's the Dawn of Hope for two. Golgari Guildgate and an Elf Knight. Uh, these things are just shredding anymore. I I don't know. These last 12, they seem to have burnt the wrappers. Beacon Bolt for three. Deals damage to target creature equal to the total number of instant sorcery cards in, in exile and in your graveyard. Selective Snare for X and 1. Return X target creatures of the creature type of your choice to their owner's hand. Yeah, man. Status and Statue. And Temple Garden of Forest Plains. Yeah, man. Selesnia Guildgate, and another insect creature token. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Last couple of packs. Let's see if we're going to get a crazy box hit or what. I really hope, man. Got my fingers crossed. All right. Lava Coil. Deals four damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead for two. Yeah, man. Crush Contraband. We already had that. Ocarina Assassin. A 1-1 one, one for three with Death Touch. All creatures able to block it do so. And Citywide Bust. <laughs> yeah, man. We're busting everyone in the city. Uh... Destroy all creatures with a toughness four or greater. Yeah, man. Is it Guildgate and a bird illusion? A whispering snitch. Snitches get stitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A 1-3 for 2. The Whispering Snitch. Vampire Rogue. Affectionate Indrick. 4-4 four, four for 6. City Watch Sphinx. 5-4 for 6. And... A Thousand Year Storm. Ooh, ding, 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 ding. Another Mythic. Yeah, man. So at least we got three Mythics and uh, Foil Rare in there so far. Yeah, man. Thousand Year Storm. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell you've cast before it this turn. You may choose new targets for the copies. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, man. Thousand Year Storm. Boros Guildgate and an insect token. I don't know what's going on with these packs, man. They are shredding. But, oh well, whatever. They had the machine set too high. All right. Arboretum Elemental. 7-5 for 9. They got some really uh, high-hitting and high-cost uh, greens in here. Rampaging Monument for four. Trample ra Rampaging Monument enters the battlefield with three 1-1 counters on it. When you cast a multicolored spell, 
put a 1-1 counter on Rampaging Monument. Yeah, man. That sucker can get bigger and bigger as long as you got a couple multicolors. A Hellkite Whelp. A Dragon. 3-3 three, three for 5. When it attacks, it deals 1 damage to target creature defending player controls. And, come on, baby. Experimental Frenzy. Look at the top card of your library at any time. You may look at the top card of your library any time. That only costs four. You may play the top card of your library. You can't play cards from your hand. For four, destroy experimental frenzy. So basically, you can look at the top card of your library and you can play it whenever you want, but you can't play cards that are already in your hand. That's pretty funny. And, ooh, leapfrog. A foil leapfrog, only a common, but a very cool looking card, man. Anyway, it's a 3 1 for 3. Leapfrog has flying as long as you've cast an instant or sorcery this turn. Is it Guildgate and a soldier token? Well, it looks like we're not going to get as lucky as I did on the last couple of boxes. Hey, you never know. It might still happen, but I'm not feeling all that good about it. Smelt Ward Minotaur. 2-3 three for 3. Swatch Cutter Giant. A 5-5 five, five for 6. Plague Crafter. A 3-2 three, for 3. When it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Each player who can't discards a card. And the Midnight Reaper, a zombie knight, a 3-2 three, for 3. When a non-token creature you control dies, Midnight Reaper deals 1 damage to you, and you draw a card. Yeah, man. Borrows Guildgate and a soldier. Ah, come on. Open. Hypothesizzle. <laughs> That's some awesome art. Check that out, man. Wow. That is cool. It's a common for five. Draw two cards and put... Then you may discard a non-land card. When you do, Hypothesizzle deals four damage to target creature. Um, electrostatic Field. A zero four for two. Grappling Sundew. A zero four for two. We Dragonauts! They're the We Dragonauts! A 1 3 for 3. A Fairy Wizard. Yeah, man. And. Amira, Soul of the Accord. A 2 2 for 2. When Amira Soul of the Accord becomes trapped, becomes tapped, create a 1 1 white soldier creature token with lifelink. Yeah, man. Anytime you tap it, you get another 1 1. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that's going in one of my decks. That's an awesome card. Digging it, digging it. Golgari Guildgate and a Soldier. Let of Champion, 2-2 two, two for 3, an Elf Knight, Might of the Masses, a Street Riot, as long as it's your turn, creatures you control have 1-0, one, oh, 1 plus 1 plus 0, and have Trample for 5, and, come on, man, Chance for Glory, that is our Chance for Glory, another Mythic, creatures you control gain Indestructible, take an extra turn after this one. At the beginning of that turn's end step, you lose the game. So basically, when you take the turn, you have to win. You can't let it get to the end step. It only costs three, but your creatures are indestructible, and you get an extra turn after this one. Yeah, that is your chance for glory, man. That was the chance for this box's glory. I really hope... It's worth something. Let me know down in the comments. A Boros Guildgate and a Soldier Token. 
Three packs left. Here we go. We got to get something crazy in these last couple packs. Well, uh, four Mythics is pretty good for a box. Night Vale Sprite, a Fairy Rogue, one, two for two. Thoughtbound Phantasm, I think I got a play set of those now. Status and Statue, and Find and Finality. Uh, return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand for two, and Finality costs six. You may put two 1-1 one, one counters on a creature you control. Then all creatures get minus four, minus two, four until end of turn. Wow, that can do some wiping out of the board. Yeah, man. And is it Guildgate and a soldier? Another shredding pack. I don't get it, man. This is crazy. League Guild Mage. That's a hot little thing right there. They finally made a cutie up in there with a, you know. Anyway, a 2-2 two, two for 2. Inescapable Blaze for 6. Deal 6 damage. Grid for battle. For 1, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of up to 2 target creatures. And, come on baby. Mission Briefing for 2. Surveil 2. Then choose an instant or sorcery card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. If that card would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Yeah, man. For two. Not bad. A Demir Guildgate and a Soldier Token. And our last pack. Come on, baby. What you got for us? All right, Fire Urchin, Ledev Guardian, Disdainful Stroke, Counter Target Spell with Converted Mana for Cost 4 or Greater, A Barging Sergeant, Barrier of Bones, Devkarin Dis Dissident, Devkarin, ah, whatever, 2-2 two, two for 2, A Deadly Visit for 4, Destroy target creature. Is it lock it? Direct current deals two damage to any target for three. An iron shell beetle. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on target creature for two. And our uncommons Smelt Ward Minotaur, a 2 3 for three. Glow Spore Shaman, a 3 1 for two. Sun Home Stalwart, 2-2 two, two for 2 with First Strike, and, come on baby, a Bounty Agent, a 2-2 two, two for 2 with Vigilance. Tap it, Sacrifice Bounty Agent, Destroy Target Legendary Permanent, that's an Artifact, Creature, or Enchantment. An Artifact, a Creature, or an Enchantment. Yeah man, for 2, that is awesome. Demir Guildgate, and a Soldier Token. All right, y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm sure, well, I'm not sure, but I don't think I made my money back, but still, it was fun cracking these packs with y'all. We got four Mythics and a couple of nice foils, but like, subscribe, Thousand Year Storm, Chance for Glory. Divine Visitation, and Underrealm Lich. That is it. The chance for glory, baby. Ding, 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 ding. Y'all have a great day. Try anything once, twice if you like it. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I rolled my ass out of here to get this box for you at midnight. Got down to my local game store. And there it is. Y'all have a good one. Try anything once, twice if you like it. Lumpy out.